That's it. I'm building my own. Materials for this prop include cardboard, a gift wrap roll, aluminum tape, duct tape, adhesive foam squares, newsprint, a turkey baster, pewter forged hammer textured paint, a hot glue gun, a foam cup holder, brown electrical tape, scissors, an X-Acto blade, a ruler, and a pen or pencil. First, you'll need to draw several template pieces to these dimensions. The size of your circles will depend on your gift roll. Use the gift wrap roll to draw a circle in the middle of template 4. Cut the templates out. I suggest cutting out template 4 first, then using it to trace the other circles. Bend the templates at the joints. A ruler can prove useful to get a more precise bend. Use the ruler to draw and cut out a square 2.5 by 4 inches. You'll need two of these. Duct tape the first square to one side of the middle portion of the template. Flip the piece over and add a second strip of duct tape for stability. Flip the template again and duct tape the second template to the first, using the square as a bridge. Duct tape the second square piece on the opposite side of the main template from the first. At this point, your hammer should look like this. Fold the second template piece over the first and duct tape the end to the square piece. Fold the third side inward and use duct tape to secure the flap. Fold all of the side flat pieces inward and duct tape them to the square pieces. Use the gift roll to trace a circle on some spare cardboard. Draw a half inch wider circle around it to create a ring. Cut the ring out and set it aside. Half an inch from the end of the gift roll, mark out an inch slit, a quarter inch thick, and use the X-Acto blade to cut it out. Remember to exercise caution when using an X-Acto blade. Turn the roll 180 degrees and repeat the process. Insert the gift roll into the hammer with the bottom still open and through the hole at the top. Cut a strip of cardboard 1 inch by 9 inches. Slip the 1 inch by 9 inch piece through the slits at the end of the gift roll and space them evenly. Place the ring on the opposite side of the gift roll and slide it to the top. Cut the bottom template piece off the main section. Use duct tape to cover the gaps at the corners of the hammer. Make sure the corners line up before taping. Fill the hammer with newsprint, keeping the handle centered during the process. Fill the gift roll with newsprint as well. A dowel rod will facilitate the process. Place the bottom template piece on the gift roll and slide it into place. Duct tape it to the hammer. Fold one flap down and tape it in place. Before taping the last flap, fill the hammer with a bit more newsprint. Tape the last flap and continue to fill the hammer with newsprint at the corners. Once you've stuffed as much newsprint into the hammer as possible, seal up the corners with duct tape. Wrap all remaining seams with duct tape. Duct tape the top cardboard strip in place and cut away any excess. Cover the two end sections of the hammer in aluminum tape. Take the extra template pieces from earlier and wrap them in aluminum tape. Use adhesive foam squares to attach these pieces to their matching counterparts on the hammer. Use aluminum tape to cover all the seams of this outer layer of the hammer. Cut the base out of a foam cup holder and use an X-Acto knife to cut out the interior so you have a ring. Use the ring to trace a cardboard circle and cut it out. Duct tape the ring and cardboard together and wrap the entire piece in aluminum tape. Use adhesive foam squares to attach the piece over the gift roll on top of the hammer. Use a hot glue gun to create outlines and Norse designs on the side flaps of the hammer. And now it's time to move outside. 
Always be safe when handling spray paint. Use goggles and masks at all times. Paint the entire hammer with the pewter textured paint. Back inside, use a bit of black acrylic paint to smear the designs on the side flaps to give them some definition. Draw additional details on the side of the hammer as well as the runes on the top circle. Wrap the handle with brown electrical tape. Remove the rubber grip from the turkey baster and cut off the top so it fits onto the gift roll. Use an X-Acto knife to cut two slits in the bottom of the rubber grip. Each should be about an inch long and about a half inch apart. Take a strip of duct tape about a foot and a half long and fold it in half lengthwise. Wrap the strip in brown electrical tape. From inside the rubber grip, insert one side of the strap into each of the slits. As an alternative, you might consider brown duct tape. Pull the strap tight and make sure it's even on both sides. Cover the areas around the slits in duct tape for extra stability. Place the rubber grip onto the gift roll and wrap it in aluminum tape. Where the rubber grip meets the gift roll, wrap a piece of duct tape and cover it in aluminum tape. Be sure that the tape is even at the top. Connect the ends of the strap together with a piece of duct tape and wrap it in brown electrical tape. Cut a narrow strip of aluminum tape and wrap it around the handle, trying to keep the space equidistant between wraps. Cut a 6 inch strip of cardboard an inch thick, roll it up, measure it around the handle and cut it to size. Wrap the piece in aluminum tape. Use duct tape to secure it in place and cover the duct tape in aluminum tape. Draw two parallel lines on the piece. And there's Mjolnir, Hammer of the God of Thunder. Clearly you're not worthy. Wait, what?